From this world she was from Australia half around the globe she came on her own and she didn't know a soul to New York City no less I loved watching her lips form the words that shrouded an accent sashayed confidently down the warm brick alleys of her heart kicking over ash cans of failure and blazing dark and depressed quarters with a nice blue light behind those intense feminine regal gestures was the penal colony muscle of drunken pirates and the juxtaposition soaked my heart and passion she was a mouthy bee all right and I loved her yeah, she was a mouthy bee, all right, and I loved her. My curiosity about her every move was insatiable, and I certainly wanted to know her perceptions of America. Barking like a little pirate, she'd begin, I don't think your government cares about its people. The exorbitant cost of education, there's no looking to educate the middle or lower classes. Officials piss on your future. Flags everywhere. I've never seen such insecurity in my life. Live, she would say, dragging the vowel like a thief, wrestling a weighted bag of gold chalices down the Vatican steps. She was a mouthy bee, all right, and I loved her. She was a mouthy bee, all right, and I loved her. Get a couple of drinks in her, and it was as if hell had declared a fire sale. You don't really manufacture anything but war machines here. You have to be at war to keep your economy running. The first thing you ought to do is stop calling soldiers heroes. Unless they killed Nazis, they are not heroes. They are deadly little boys in camouflage with a license to kill, acting out scenes from video games back home, waiting for the applause of Walmart shoppers. Along with freedom, heroes is the most overused word in the national vocabulary. She was quietly introspective the next day with a hangover, but she never backed down. She was a mouthy bee all right and I loved her she was a mouthy bee all right and I loved her